How's it going, guys? Good. Uh, <laughs> I meant them. But oh, yeah. them, but we could as well. <laughs> yeah. So, as you can see, uh, today is a, a special day <laughs> because we have the one and the only uh, Simon Furman, comic writing legend, is here with us, and uh, we're pretty pleased. We've got a jam-packed show for you today. Of course, we have the always somewhat sort of lovely Adam with us as well. <laughs> Thanks, Adam. You've been really lovely to me today. <laughs> she wasn't. We're, we're in a bit of a feud today. We got in well, a, you are with we me. Got in a bit of a tip earlier, so it should be an interesting show. But anyways, we have the lovely Simon Furman to act as mediator between the yeah, two of us, yeah, so yeah. it's okay. <laughs> um... <laughs> So today, yeah, we are going to talk, of course, about the last week of the Beast Wars saga and uh, this weekend's event called No Strings Attached. We're also going to tell you about a special new feature in the game that you're going to be able to access via a news feed. And, of course, we're going to take a look at Volcanicus and Predaking. I know you guys have been super excited about these guys. They look amazing. I'm sure you've seen some of our uh, videos as well, sort of showing how they were made. There are more of those coming as well. So we're going to take a look at those guys in the showroom uh, a little later on today. And we'll do a little recap of Hascon because, uh, yeah, this one was there and that one you can't see was there as well. Yeah, the so. only the only way of uh, to see Pablo in real life was at Hascon. That's the premium, <laughs> premium yeah, feature. Yeah, it's the only one. And there's one person <laughs> missing a Grimlock shirt today. Yeah, look at this. We were all wearing our Grimlock shirts. It's true. I don't have a Grimlock shirt. <sighs> Maybe if you're nicer to me, I'd buy you one at Costco. Oh. <laughs> yeah, this is probably going to happen the whole stream. I have a feeling it's going to be a lot of... Wow, okay. Yeah. Anyways. Shout outs? Uh, yeah, let's say, say hi to some peeps. Yay, okay. Uh, welcome to Uncle Scrooge. Nice to see you again. We've got Skywarp7732. We've got Scrooge1024. Twitch McGlitch. We have... Chakwala Sunshine, Primetime is here again. Yeah, always nice to see you, Primetime. Uh, we have Soundwave79 Todd, we have Cage1123, Darty Spot again, uh, Soldier, Soldier, uh, yes. as always. Not Soldier, yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm seeing if we, I'm looking <laughs> if we're having Jeremy Taburin on stream. We saw him live, actually, which was really nice. Did you? Yes, no yes. way! Yeah, that's we took some pictures. I love people in person. <laughs> yeah. oh, he, was, that's so cool. he, he was great. He has a very impressive Transformer collection. Oh, wow. Like, a, utterly impressive. Oh, oh, yeah, no, of course. He sent in photos before, and he had this crazy collection on, like, his kitchen table. He yeah. Had, like, Did gym. you prep some photos for us to share? We it's did. Okay. It's all we'll me. Do that. It's all we'll me do that. We'll do that later. Dear. <laughs> we'll, we'll, be, we'll get back to that later. I have the creaky chair. Uh, we, we, had, we had several players actually come out, like, uh, to us, and, like, some of them were, uh, you know, new, and yeah. some were like experts. And um, like you could see them, like what they're playing. It was, like you could see that the experts. Like, yeah. have you played this before? I'm like, yeah, yeah. And they show me like a max base. I'm like, and you're like, oh, you're right. Clearly. <laughs> Simon, do you want to say hi to some people? Yeah, I just want to say hi to everyone out there. Really, I'm, you can pick some people. Oh, over okay. Here. Well, we've got. Um, <laughs> We, oh God, we've got Dirty Spot, I think. That's a good one. Yeah. We've got, uh, I'm not even going to try and pronounce that one, Toy Calibur. Hello. Oh, everybody. yeah. And we've got Commander Epsi, is that right? I'm sort of reading, I'm reading this sideways. <laughs> uh, we've got Chimney Prawn. That's a, that's a good one as well. That's a good one as well. Yeah. And uh, yes, and hi to... Uh, Oh, there's Dirty Spot again, and uh, <laughs> Skywarp7732. Uh, we've also right. got, let's see, uh, oh sorry, I cut you off. No, 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 go, go, go. <laughs> we've got uh, Lovey Soto and Tough Thunder God, and Ryan Nichols, Joe Hudson, Uncle Carl Maintenance, Nathan Webb, hi, nice to see you. We're going to show you some pretty cool artwork that Nathan did in a second. Uh, we've got Justin Pike, we've got Negacork. Because we're not on Mob Crush today, so I've got some of our Mob Crush family on uh, YouTube and Twitch and Facebook instead today. Hi, oh. Mega Quark, or Mega Quark, thank you for, for hopping over. Uh, we've got Awesome Guy, we've got Matthew Gray, we've got Dino Dwarf, uh, we have got Galen Quebec and Greg Knight. Is Zachary Couture here? We need to know. Howard Choi is. What up, <laughs> <laughs> Um, nice to see all of you guys, and of course, nice to see you as well, Robert Owen and LaShawn Smitty Smith and Jermaine Brown and Reggie Anderson and Corey Speaks and uh, all of you lovely people. We also have uh, Turbobot. 
We met the Haskell as well. Ah, mm-hmm. yeah. amazing. Great guy. So, Simon, why don't you tell people a little bit about yourself and uh, what you do and why you're so important? Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Well, I mean, right here and now, I'm very involved, of course, in Earth Wars, doing all the storylines and the character unlocks and just any other little bits and pieces they want me to throw in, the bios, everything. So, you know, loving being part of this and loving that we're starting to build a little bit of a continuity strand through our storylines. Mm-hmm. And I think you're going to see that in the Volcanicus Predator King story that we've been building up to this for a while and on top of that I'm still very much involved in other Transformers projects we've got the definitive G1 collection which is uh, very Dinobot centric at the moment just Ah, coincidentally we've (laughs) just we've just had maximum Dinobots come out and we've got natural selection out next week which features the, the very Dinobot-centric arc from Regeneration 1. Amazing. And if people want to you know, have more info about you or what projects you might be up to, where can they go? They can find me on Facebook, they can find me on Twitter, they can find my blog, and uh, just generally I'm out there and uh, very much looking to hear from you. Simon is everywhere. <laughs> no, that's true. Uh, so we do have some some questions for you, Simon. Mm-hmm. Uh, also, if you guys have questions for Simon as the stream goes, please, please, please send them in. Uh, Pablo's on the other side there. He's going to keep a track of cues for Simon. Uh, but I've got uh, a few of them already queued up here. So let's take a look. Uh, first one comes from Skywarp Greer asking, have you ever submitted Transformers content or write-ups uh, or stories to Hollywood producers for any live-action movies? Sadly not. Uh-huh. But uh, way back when, I did have some early talks with Lorenzo di Bonaventura when they were sort of prepping the first... It's an amazing name. It is, it is. <laughs> and, uh, and yeah, yeah, that was very exciting. It didn't come off in the end, but that was about as close as I got to my Hollywood moment with Transformers. Okay, mm-hmm. amazing. Uh, we've also got a question from Dave G uh, asking, did you ever dream of what a Dinobots combiner might be like back in the 80s Excuse me, when you were writing for Marvel? Well, somebody pointed out to me, I think it was on Twitter, that when Grimlock was the letter answer on the UK comic, he made a big point of saying, we don't want to be a combiner, you know, don't ask us that, we just don't want to be a combiner, that's, that's rubbish, you know, we're a non-combining team. Right. So when we came to do Volcanicus, suddenly I had to well go, oh, we didn't mean that. And, <laughs> uh, and yeah, you know, sort of. so we have actually changed a little bit since then, and Grimlock's changed his mind big time, as you'll see in the story. Mm-hmm. And uh, actually, just today, Sam and I shot something about the story of the new combiners, and you'll get to see some of that next week. Simon will give you a nice little sneak peek of some of the things you can expect in uh, the saga that yeah. we'll talk about a little later. Another question comes from Ivo, sorry, Evo, Evo, Ivo, not sure, Santos, asking, what would Volcanicus first, <laughs> what would Volcanicus's first words be, and how would he sound like? This is your chance to get do a nice impression. Oh, I heard I him do a Grimlock know. impression earlier yeah, to know. rival yours, it, Adam. It would by have the way. to be. It would have to be a kind of <laughs> Grimlock to the max, wouldn't it? You know. I, I yeah, think. I think it would probably be like Grimlock, but lower and a bit less. Yeah, and a bit more sort che- of cheerful, booming, maybe. Yeah, because Grimlock is. I wouldn't say he's cheerful. He's a, a little. Hmm. Clueless, I would call yeah. him. Uh, so it's probably a bit more decisive. Well, I mean, I don't know what you're talking about, so I feel like you're probably going to have to. Uh... <laughs> maybe he's a bit, maybe he's a bit more monosyllabic okay. even than Grimlock. Volcanicus destroy. Yes. Good. Something like that. Volcanicus erupt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's that's one line I had to edit from the story. Oh, no. <laughs> Like, can't wait to erupt or something like Chris is that right I'm like, not sure <laughs> that one got but, but we, I do uh, love I do love I do love some of the puns you put in there <laughs> it's like Volcanic is going I love a challenge love a challenge love a challenge, oh, challenge. challenge. Okay, that's good. <laughs> yeah I was like damn <laughs> yeah this th- is what we pay you for exactly, Simon. <laughs> yeah it's like all the bad puns come out in the Earth Wars storylines <laughs> yeah lines. exactly amazing 
Well, we're going to have uh, Simon do some more dialogue for you a little later when we talk about uh, this week's event featuring Black Arachnia and Cheetor, mm. of course. And maybe uh, Simon will also tell us a little bit about their stories, because he wrote sure. those too. Yeah. But first, we've got another question uh, from We66 Illustration, a.k.a. Nathan Webb. Hello there. Uh, Simon, when are you next writing a Transformers comic? Uh, that's a very good question. I don't know. Uh, okay. I'm very busy at the moment on other things, you know, not just Transformers. Um, I'm doing some Robotech comics. I know that's like, ooh, should I mention Robotech in a Transformers live stream? I don't know. But it's, 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 it's different mechs, you know. But yeah. uh, And uh, I'm working on a TV animated series, so I'd love to do some, but it's yeah. a matter of time as much as anything. Cool. And uh, our last question is a double barreled question which comes from uh, Alan Wilkinson, and he writes, Now Cheetor and Black Arachnia have made bestial fury a thing, is it time for a refactor of Grimlock to give him that ability? Continued, there, <laughs> there'd be something very fall of Cybertron about robot, made, robot mode Grimlock going into Rex mode to unleash fury. Thoughts? Yeah, maybe. I mean, I'd love, I don't know whether we can do this, guys, to bring, you know, there's a Beast Wars Grimlock. Oh! Mm. There is a Beast Wars Grimlock. How about, you know, we get him in the game and we got two Grimlocks. We could do that. <laughs> because every time we try to bring a dino, like Grimlock is always like looking forward to getting another dino from different yeah. time. Yeah. And we, we ended up uh, summoning a uh, T-Rex Megatron. Megatron, yeah, because he thought that was himself. Yeah, he thought it was himself. Yeah. Yeah, 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 <laughs> he got yeah. disappointed. But, uh, th but there is a Grimlock in the Beast Wars continuity, so maybe we could bring him in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I've got some questions here and I'm going to quickly recap for other people because I've been busy answering as well on, okay. on, on Twitch. But um, So first of all, uh, BC of Fury is, is happening with Cheetor and Black Arachnia. We would rather not touch existing bots beyond like buffing and, and re, re kind of rebalancing bots because basically whenever we make 20 people happy, we make 5 people unhappy. And these five people can be really unhappy and just, you know, drop their toys. So <laughs> we, we would rather not edit existing or swap existing abilities uh, out of bots. Uh, so Grimlock is going to stay the way he is. Uh, he's a very strong bot and very desirable on its own. Uh, he might get a buff in the future, but uh, definitely not uh, a different ability. Um, as for some people suggesting triple changers like uh, Skylinks and, and Astro Chain being shuttles, um, our answer is we'd rather have them playable uh, as triple changers uh, than to put them uh, as a role of a shuttle. I think that's more exciting. Uh, some people asking questions as always about game modes. Uh, new game modes will come, but that's beyond power cores and beyond triple changers. So that's a bit... Uh, it's, it's, it's some time away. Uh, we haven't designed these things yet, um, so we're open to suggestions. We have some suggestions already planned. Uh, right now we're focused on delivering power cores, which will happen after the and Dinobot um, kind of the new combiner saga concludes. So right now we have a very packed uh, couple months ahead of us. We are finishing up Beast Wars right now, then we're uh, looking at the combiner saga and after that we will be thinking about unleashing uh, some of the new features that we uh, spoke about like the power cores and triple changers and other exciting things. So um, there is, yeah, there's definitely stuff planned but that's um, ahead of what we already have, which is really packed, packed schedule. Uh, yeah, right. And oh, so also, uh, sorry, also some questions regarding uh, Rodimus Prime when he's coming. So Rodimus Prime has won the Autobot side of the pick -up bot competition. So he will come into the game along with Motormaster and two other bots. Uh, but of course that will take some time. We haven't, you know, we, we need to start the art process. After that is done, we need to start doing the gameplay design. And in the meantime, we're finishing up some of the bots we already started before we even started the competition. So um, it's some time away. We will be sure to uh, share some of the progress with you as we make the progress uh, in our uh, newsletters. So if you haven't subscribed to our newsletters, uh, please do so. Uh, I'm sure as I've got your face covered the whole time. <laughs> that's fine. I'm, I'm a white block of Facebook text. But that's okay because... Uh, why don't we take a look at this new challenge battle? Yes, challenge battle. Challenge battles are a new thing. And um, yeah, we, we weren't sure if we were going to make it for this, uh, for this week's content. And then yesterday they were like, oh, we haven't done this challenge battle for Cheetor and Black Arachnia. I mean, we have the technology now. Could we do it? And I was like, yeah, let's just do it. Uh, so I <laughs> put something together quickly. 
Uh, it's what a battle. is a challenge battle? So a challenge battle is a battle that's available through the newsfeed, and you can play it without spending any, uh, any fuel cells, and you have a set of bots that's designed for that battle, and it's a set of bots that you don't necessarily have to have, which means uh, you get to play with some of the new bots ahead of the release, as well as some of the bots you don't have, uh, which is great, because that means before we even start a leaderboard event or before we start, uh, you know, uh, to, to you know, propose you, you participate to play the game to get a bot, you can now try that bot before you commit to, to an event, which is, I think, great, because no longer you will get a bot and then find out that actually you wish he had a longer ability range or something like that. You know, so basically, uh, you'll be able to jump into the battle. You can, I, th I think it's live now, so you can do that uh, right now or after the stream. Um, yeah, don't do it right now. If you go to the battle, <laughs> you'll have a selection of bots. All these bots are at an equivalent level and ability level. So it's four star bots, level 45, ability level 5. Unless I made a mistake and QA didn't find it. But I think it should be all correct. And you'll be able to uh, just try some of the abilities. And especially um, take a look at Cheater and Black Arachnia. One thing to um, have in mind is uh, yeah, the current design has been like that for the last like several weeks that I, I had the bot ready for, for release. We had some old text somewhere up here, but that was like two months old text. So don't worry about that. Read the ability as it is. It behaves the way it, uh, it's supposed to behave. Uh, we have and yep. we're going to have Simon try to play the new yes. Oh my Challenge God, Tr try is the operative word, I think. <laughs> That's okay. I mean, you are, you know, you're the narrative genius. You don't also have to be the gameplay Perfect. genius. Perfect. Thank goodness. That's okay. All right, so any yeah, rewards for any rewards for challenge oh. battle? No, there's no rewards. <laughs> the reward is trying out new uh, bots before they're released. Um, exactly. Which is a huge around. reward, really. Absolutely. Yeah, it's huge. Yeah. All right, Simon, right. over to you. We're gonna have you try okay. out Cheetor and uh, what do uh, I do Blackbird. That? You yep. just you press play and then you see what happens. Okay. And the game <laughs> crashes, or maybe it doesn't. Well, maybe who knows? We're on a strange environment, okay. so you never know. It's... You never know what's gonna happen. Yeah. Uh, what about player versus player in STEM Alliance to test basis? That's something that's uh, possible later down the line. So right now we're really busy finishing up power cores, um, implementing some Aha, new stuff. We, we were busy with combiners, of course, as well. Uh, but yeah, in the future, it's one of the things that potentially we could add. Cool. So do you want to talk to Simon through this? Yes. Yeah, so sure. <laughs> so I pick a character. Um, so yeah, you have Snarl, Hotspot, Cheetor, Windblade, Rastas and Ratchet. Yep. Now, you want to make sure you deploy all of them. Okay. It, it, this gives me like Haskell kind of like memories. When we were like <laughs> teaching four-year-olds how to so play the so game. So you're, well, yeah, you're yeah. like well-versed, you're able to... Um, <laughs> so so right. th think of what angle you'd like to attack the base. I suppose um, maybe from the right or from the left okay. would be good. Yep. Especially since Cheetor, when you deploy him, you'll be able to use his ability. His ability gets him faster whenever he destroys a target. Okay. Uh, and it counts with everything. Bots he kills, even the small buildings here on the side. Yep. So I suggest you deploy all the bots uh, over here in the corner. Yep. Yeah. Tap, 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 tap. Yeah, more, 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 more. Perfect. Now, select Cheetor, this one, the claws. Okay. Yeah. Yep. And select on the building, the small one here. This, uh, the small white building. Yep. Yeah, again. Perfect. Uh, okay. So now, as you can see, uh, he is marking the buildings he's attacking. And as he attacks buildings, he'll get faster every time he destroys something, which is really, really cool. So uh, another ability we should use potentially is the, uh, this one, the red one, yeah. Try it on a cluster of buildings. Yeah, that, sh that should be fine. Okay. Um, okay, try to heal your bots as well with the green. Put that in the middle. Perfect. We can use Cheater again, so use that uh, on a, maybe on, the, on this small building over there. Yeah, perfect. Uh, that should do the trick. Now, let's take care of that mortar. Select the airstrike. Uh, okay. The, the, that's yep. the airstrike. And, ah, oh, it's oh, a bit too far. So let's wait a moment. Yep. Uh, let's wait a moment. And Windblade is... Yeah, there we go. Now, try the airstrike on the mortar. Ah, we clicked on the other one. <laughs> try the airstrike on, on the missile launcher here. Yeah, perfect. Cheeto is actually getting quite fast now. He's beaming that with great speed. We should be able to make it. Uh, we can try Cheeto. Ah, oh, oh. we've done it. 
Oh. Hey! So, so just a natural. <laughs> so, just a natural. Speaking of uh, black arachnia, yes, so just look at that prime victory. Well done. Oh, nice. Yes. And uh, Cheetor, can you tell us a little bit about their stories? Because, as I mentioned, yeah, you wrote those as well in the Beast Wars saga this time. Yeah, right? it's always a challenge, I guess, to bring the Beast Wars characters in in a, in a fairly organic and believable way that, again, plays into the previous stories. So, you know, first of all, I looked at Optimus Primal and Beast Wars Megatron and how we'd move them in. So we've got Cheetor actively looking for Optimus Primal, who's disappeared. We've got Black Arachnia making little side deals, as she's uh, prone <laughs> as to she do, yeah. you know, feathering her own nest. And making contact with uh, G1 Starscream. I hope I'm not revealing too much here, but uh, and uh, it's her machinations, really, that get her and Cheetor, as it turns out, caught up in the, the good old sort of trans-dimensional space bridge gimmick yes. <laughs> that uh, gets our Beast Wars characters into the Earth Wars. Yeah. So, I love like Arachnia scheming. Yeah, she's great. Well, you know, she goes so well with she's Starscream. On, she's on one side, her own, right? Well, yeah, I mean, the thing is, you know, in the in the Beast Wars, at the end of the animated show, she's pretty much with the Maximals mm. and, you know, romantically involved with Silverbolt. But I always liked her when she was just plain scheming and right. playing both sides against each other. Seeing she's gotten a bit soft now. Yeah, mm. so, so we've got to back up to her, her devious ways. <laughs> Um, and Negacorp wants to know, Simon, could you make an appearance at the 2018 Toronto Comic Con? Uh, yes. I, if, if, the, <laughs> if the organizers of the 2018 Toronto Comic Con want to invite me out, I will be happy to be there. <laughs> if you're an organizer. <laughs> yes, if you happen <laughs> yeah. to be watching. <laughs> then please invite Simon. Uh, Justin Pike would like to know, Simon, who is your favorite Maximal or Predacon? Oh, that's a good question. Um, I, I love all the characters from the, the show itself. I think they were so well picked, you know, of those. I probably just love Beast Wars Megatron so much. He's <laughs> so cool. You know, in some ways he, he outdoes the G1 Megatron for me. But when we did the comic, I really, you know, sort of got to grips with some of the characters who never made it into the show. So, right. you know, some of those I really enjoyed writing as well, like Razor Beast, who became almost our kind of headline character just because we had to look at the ones who didn't make it into the show. Yeah. I wish we had Dinobot in our game actually. Yeah. Oh, he's my favorite. Dinobot. Also, super. Hasbro has announced this new uh, Velociraptor female Dinobot, I believe. Oh, oh okay. okay. That sounds amazing. Yeah, and that sounds great. <laughs> um, I'll do paddles. Still, do uh, do the other Dinobots combine with her? Oh no, that's something no, else no. I can't say. <laughs> Chris, <laughs> oh sorry. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Carrie no. Jones it's wants to know something really, really important. Simon, uh, do you like pizza? Oh, I love pizza. Funny enough, I had pizza last night. <laughs> and uh, um, Joe Hudson wants to know, Simon, who's your favorite combiner? Volcanicus. Ah, yeah, there you go. Of course, so get, just get knocked all the others off the number one spot. <laughs> Fair enough. Speaking of uh, Volcanicus, maybe we should take a look mm. at these guys. Uh, I know you guys have been uh, waiting for that. And then we will come back, have some more cues for Simon, and look at this week's event as well and do a little Hascon re recap. Awesome. Do Let's we, do that. How do we feel about do that? Yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, sure, sure, sure. Do we have some... Okay, <clears throat> we need to change our device. Yes, we need to change, cool. change over. To the Hascon version. Back to Haskell. I have, I've, I must have played that level or saw it being played like hundreds of times. Yeah. It was really busy, and I think, you know, I think our booth was one of the busiest. Yeah. Oh. Out of all all game booths, uh, which makes me. Uh, so I think we're gonna look at Predaking first. Yeah, mm. which makes me very proud. Yeah. Uh, do you know the login mm -hmm. credential? Perfect. We're all, we're all, we're all good. Yeah. <laughs> some people are requesting, uh, you know, some certain bundles to be in or Crystal City events. And this, all these questions should go to uh, probably best directed at, at Hyra and Swanger. Yeah. Uh, although I'm pretty sure they're aware of uh, certain patterns that you guys would like. Uh, we get them by watching what you guys say. We also get them via comments in our like, customer support. Um, so yeah, the, remember you guys are requesting five star events, and actually like a week later, five star event appeared. It was are already scheduled to appear, 
And so it's, we try to be on top of things. And of course, there's certain cadence to all types of events, um, but expect some chances of getting Dinobots and Predacons um, as we, of course, land into the Combiner saga starting next week. So there will definitely be opportunities to secure some of the characters. As for when exactly which character will land in the Premium or Free Crystal, I do not know. Excuse I me. wish I did. So, Simon, we're going to have you activate the combiner. Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> also, uh, yeah. I didn't realize it was going to be so interactive. What's that? Yeah, yeah, of course, of course. <laughs> I mean, if you're here, we gotta make, we gotta make use Absolutely. of it. <laughs> also, a lot of uh, questions we always get about Titans, you know, mm -hmm. like my Metroplex and Trypticon and Fortress Maximus. Uh, yeah, Titans are exciting, they're big. When we, and if, like, probably when, other than if, when we do them, uh, we want to do them justice. So, the same way we, we treated combiners as a kind of big premium feature with a new campaign and stuff like that, we would like to do the same with, uh, with Titans. Um, we don't have finished ideas on how to, we would like to implement them. There are many ideas circling around, but yeah, these are a big part of the universe, especially a big part of the new toy line with Triptychon releasing uh, this year. So yeah, there's definitely opportunities for these bots or these city-sized Titans. Um, all I would ask for is yeah, a bit more patience as we unroll quite a lot of things this year. Cool. So, as you see there, there is your uh, Combiner Lab, which you have to activate. Okay. Right. Are we sharing? We are sharing. Perfect. Yeah, yeah, are we, are we sharing. Going? yeah, go there. Bam! Shall we enter the lab oh. first? Oh, well, do we enter a lab first or activate? You tell me. I think why. we should... Well... Are we doing gameplay this week? No. Okay. Which is why you can activate it. <laughs> 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 or not, actually, you're going to activate them and then we'll use them next week. <laughs> okay. Perfect. Okay, Perfect so way to spend 25 or 13, Deb. Yeah. Okay, Predaking first. Yeah. Yeah, we're doing Predaking. Yeah. Activate. And then we activate. Bam. Cool. Combiner engaged. Yeah. Now, let's so, view him in the showroom. Let's have a look at him. Yeah. So tap the... Um, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. go into the lab. Dun, dun, dun. All right. Bam. Boom. Check oh, this sword so out. So cool. <laughs> He is, is nuts. Cool. Yeah. I just, I love Predaking. I mean, I know um, Volcanicus is really special because we've never seen him before. Right? Yeah, like he's, we're the first. He's new and he's, he's first. And, but I, I also love Predaking, I gotta say. Like, look at the wings oh, on no. him. He's a great looking combiner. It's just so cool. Now, Simon, I will let you do the honors and uh, transform him. How do I do that? Just tap it. Bam. There he goes. Oh. And I gotta say, like the combination sequence for these guys is just... They're very elaborate. Yeah, and, incredible. Um, we have some of the artists speaking about those in, in our videos. Are these videos yeah. already so, available on our uh, social? Not yet. So you guys can definitely check out uh, the one about the development and the design and the gameplay uh, that Chris and Adam talk about. That is live on our social media now and you can find it on YouTube as well. But uh, we also did another one with the artists talking about, you know, how we brought these crazy things to life. And uh, that's a really interesting one as well. Uh, you'll get to see Stoyan, uh, Carl, and Alex chat about everything from, you know, rigging and, and animations to something like the loading screen, which actually has a lot more depth to it than you might think when you just see the image. But there's a lot of thought that goes into, you know, why they're placing things the way they are and what they're putting in the background and the effects. They use, Carl will talk about uh, VFX, which is, which is pretty cool as well. Because as you can see, there's like a real fiery sort of... <laughs> and uh, Adam is quite responsible for adding a lot of <laughs> fire to, the <laughs> to these guys. I'm to blame. Yeah. Absolutely. Definitely. I'm really happy to see Dive Bomb finally move the wings. Yeah. I'm yeah. really regretful yeah, over exactly. him not, not flapping the wings on the battlefield. Hopefully we'll get to that one day. Mm -hmm. um, some people are actually asking about the names of uh, Dinobots. Yes. Uh, because Hasbro has secured some of the trademarks. Yay, interesting! <laughs> uh, we, might, we might rename them in the future, but it's going to take some time for us to catch up and actually have some time to mm -hmm. uh, rejig all the story and retranslate all the story that Sam Simon and I... <laughs> put in there, uh, so that's quite a lot of work actually. It's not a simple control F because, yeah, you have to swap certain places, leave other places. Uh, so yeah, we might rename uh, Strafe to Swoop. Uh, same goes to Rodimus, but that's probably going to happen when we release Rodimus Prime. We will then rename Rodimus into Hot Rod 
and again rejig re re all the dialogues. So yeah, looking forward to that. That's gonna be fun. <coughs> Speaking of uh, our Predaking, Simon, can you give us a little sneak peek of how Predaking and Volcanicus fit into the universe without giving too much away? Of yeah, I mean, you know, it, one of the things we did. I do did, have the creaky chair. It's so you nice. do have the creaky chair. <laughs> Sorry. Um, you know, we wanted there's. As I think I was saying earlier in the little interview thing you're going to see, mm -hmm. um, the Dinobots and the, the Predacons have this kind of grudge match that goes all the way back to the Marvel UK comics, a little bit in the Marvel US comics. So we had that, that sort of little bit of you know, antagonism going anyway. So we just really have been manoeuvring these two teams together. Mm -hmm. And really their joint need to find the Enigma of Combination, which is one thing we've been seeding throughout this Earth Wall storyline. Definitely. And, you know, Snarl's little off-world mission on Quintessa, and uh, all these things pay into the beginning of the storyline. And we, we just, we, we push Grimlock in a way that make him very proactive about becoming a combining team. He's got the elements he needs, but he needs the Enigma, and the Enigma is under lock and key and somewhere where he doesn't know where it is. So it's his efforts to find the Enigma, but the twist is that the Decepticons, instead of trying to stop him, they're trying to help him. Yes. And that's all I'm gonna say. And that's very uh, confusing to him, of course. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Amazing. Uh, let's take a look at Volcanicus as cool. well. Cool, so you'll have to hide for a screen. Forever, I know. Yeah. Uh, in the meantime, we can take some questions yeah, I'm, first. I'm ready to ask. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah, so sorry. I'm, yeah, I'm not gonna, you today. Adam. I'm just going to take one question. Uh, <laughs> but can I just say as well with of Volcanicus, course. you know, this is such a first for us. You yeah. know, the, it was so exciting doing this story because it's the first time he's been in any story, in any media. So mm -hmm. this feels like a real coup for Earthworks. I remember dropping you the name and you were like, who's that? Yeah, <laughs> I didn't know. I was like, ah, oh, wait. So this is the guy. And yeah. And I don't think, I don't think Hasbro has a fi finished um, backstory written yet. Mm. Uh, so hopefully, like whatever we put in the game, will kind of be canon. Yeah, <laughs> I guess so. We're we're the first. Yeah, no, it's amazing yeah. that we actually get to. So I'm like trying to multitask. Yeah, you, usually <laughs> when we develop the uh, the character or when we write some stories, there's a there's a breath of. You know, books and, and notes and yeah. everything from Something across to, like, the reference, right? across the lifespan of the character to kind of refer back to an episode. And but we had a blank slate this time. You know, this was ground zero for our Volcanicus, and yeah. and it was just brilliant. We could impose our own little origin, if you like, our own way of speaking for him. So yeah, yeah. It's, it's it's been completely fun. Well, so well. yeah, and I really like that we tied it back to Quintessa mm -hmm. and and Snarl, uh, kind of appearing in that ancient kind of temple on Quintessa. Yeah. Uh, because yeah, that was a kind of a little bit of, of, of yeah. foreshadowing. If you were for really those paying who attention, were... you could have mm. maybe guessed that, <laughs> that yeah, they were coming. But So here we have, again, uh, the lab. Now, you can activate it or not. It really doesn't make a difference for today, but I, I always think it's fun to activate them, even if I'm not going to use them. <laughs> okay, yep. Yeah. Where am I going? Bam, right here. Oh, yep. That's the one. There he yeah. is. Yeah. And activate. Cool. And now we're going to tap on it again, and we're going to enter the lab and take a look at him. Ooh. And, ooh. <laughs> And here is uh, Volcanicus in all his glory. And Volcanicus, of course, made up of. This is always a, a test. Adam, I remember asking Adam, and he was like, Ugh. Slug, slog, strife. Oh, he's cheating. He's like, no, 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 no. Oh. Slug, slog, slug. <laughs> it's a bit of a tongue twister, this one. Slug, slog, slug. No. Slug. <laughs> No, no, not slug. No, we haven't. We can't. Slug, <laughs> slog, snarl, strafe, strafe, and grimlock. Yes. Bam! There it is. Uh, it's such a mouthful. I know. <laughs> That's why it, it's funny. Um, and yeah. As okay, the best see. bit. Take a look at slug. He's like observing swoop. Look, 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 yeah, look, he's look, at him. Wagging his tail. So <laughs> good. And then he Where's me? Up. Now it's my turn. Okay, pick me up. I love. Boom. I love how he like picks the. Because he's like he's like too heavy. Yeah. <laughs> 
You know, I never Adorable. thought the Dinobots were built to combine at all, just yeah. looking at them, but they're amazing. Funnily jobs. enough, they, they weren't. When we, when we developed them, uh, we didn't expect them to combine. So a lot of the joints and bones and, and, and things that we would use later to animate weren't present. No. Yeah. So uh, it was quite a challenging combiner to do. And of course, everyone expected Victorian, right, to arrive. Yeah, oh. yeah, a lot of people were, were banking on Victorian, so this came out of... Yeah, which yeah. means that, you know, not always when you get a bot, you get a combiner. The mm -hmm. same way with Motormaster, you know. A lot of people think that the moment we bring Motormaster, like Menace, is going to land the next day. Right. It takes quite a long time to develop a combiner. So mm -hmm. uh, it's definitely not the last combiner we do, but it's probably going to be the most exciting one we ever release, being a Dynable combiner. Dynable I mean, combiner. Defensor is cool, but come on. <laughs> Victorian is cool as well, but... Come on, look at this. Yeah, these are amazing. I love like Grimlock like jumping into the center center stage as well there. So good. Yeah. But our yeah. Uh, our initial concept art had uh, we we called him Dino King in our initial uh, concept art before we even knew that Hasbro was working on a Dynamite combiner. We were working on it ourselves mm -hmm. uh, as a kind of pitch. Um, and then we found out they're actually working on a toy, so we, it was a perfect storm. But yeah. at the beginning, it was just kind of a wild shot that maybe we'll get to make it, but we never expected Hasbro to actually work on the toy at the same time. Uh, so yeah, we had the wings on the back because we expected it to be kind of um, matching the Preda, Preda King. King yeah. yeah, and we also gave him a huge axe. Uh, <laughs> but I must say, like, uh, even though I like the wings on the back, I like the sword. Yeah. way more than I like the axe, yeah. because the sword uh, not only is on fire, but it's also inspired by uh, the initial Grimlock sword uh, from the, the, you know, the first toys. And, you can, ah, and yeah. you can drive it right through the torso of another yeah. combiner, <laughs> couldn't you? You Say, could do. You, you know. could. Yeah. <laughs> yes. There was a, an alternate version of, so the trailer that we played at the beginning of this uh, stream, there was an alternate version of said trailer that our cinematic artist Mark did. He always does a fantastic job. Uh, and uh, he he may have gone a little a little not overboard because I oh, thought it was amazing. Ultra violent. <laughs> it was quite violent. <laughs> the other version. I loved of, it. <laughs> I mean, I know. So I loved it. I was like, this is amazing. I, I wish we could show this to people. It was so good, but it was slightly. <laughs> to be fair, we had literally four-year-old children playing the game and like yeah. being exposed to the screen. Were like, <laughs> and like they were so tiny that we had to like put a chair underneath <laughs> them so they could reach adorable. the iPad. Um, oh my gosh. Yeah, but um, by the way, uh, uh, Slash is the name of the Dinobot girl versus Velociraptor. Oh. Ah, yeah. well, that, that's not a good name in, in the UK. Slash? That's true. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll tell you later. That's, that's <laughs> okay. not good, that later. <laughs> Urban Dictionary is probably yeah. <laughs> coming do useful. Kids. Um, Don't do it, kids. Yeah, but uh, yeah, Slash, uh, Slash is really, really cool. I already uh, hope we, we get to make her. But of course, first we need to make some of the bots that you guys voted for. So yes. if you like Slash more than Rodimus Prime, well, tough luck! <laughs> <laughs> you voted for Rodimus Prime! And we didn't put Slash on the list, so... Uh, Fair enough. <laughs> so, of course, uh, if you want to see more of Volcanicus and Predaking, uh, we'll be showing them off again next week, but this time on the battlefield, and they have three brand new abilities that you guys are going to be able to take a look at, and they're pretty epic, I will say. Yeah, we'll get, we'll get into details of these abilities, like, exactly, because yeah. you can get a glimpse of them on the, in the video, but yeah. we'll, we'll get detailed. Yeah. Um, and also... Adam will have out his, like, balancing sheets and spreadsheets and post-its and everything that he usually has. <laughs> I can show you a sheet if you like, if you think that's going to make exciting stream material. Uh, we have some people that are actually trying to reverse engineer our game data, oh, and they make, wow. make a spreadsheet and stuff like that. And yeah. Uh, it's always amusing. Uh, <laughs> it's a lot of work. I always like applaud the amount of work that people put into doing it. And sometimes yeah. they get things uh, surprisingly kind right. Correct, yeah. And sometimes they actually make some mistakes, um, for the better or worse. But uh, it's, it's always interesting to see. And um, so people are asking if there's going to be more event uh, avatars. So right now you had a chance of securing one avatar, the Def mm -hmm. uh, avatar from oh, the yes, Quintessence. Uh -huh. Uh, as we all know, there's more Quintesson faces than just the face of death. So I would say, yes, there will be more chances. But uh, we don't have... Uh, I have no idea when is the next coming. Hmm. I must tell you that, you know, it also depends on what kind of response we get from people. Um, and if people really like things, then we are more inclined to do them more. Um, 
I'm, I'm not sure what was the response for the avatar, but I think now that some time has passed and you know, some people don't have the avatar, the, the kind of the, the value of the avatar mm. increases over time because yeah. it becomes more and more premium. Uh, because it can be, you know, you can't get it. So Matthew Gray is asking, Simon, what is your favorite story that you've written? Mm, it's so tough. It's such a difficult question, that, because A, I've written so many. Yes. I and know. B, it kind of depends. It's like 20 years, 30 years worth 30 of stories. 30 years worth of stories. Yeah. But it kind of depends which era. You know, I'd say, you know, in the Marvel UK comic, it's probably Target 2006 or mm -hmm. Time Wars. In the US comic, it's maybe the Unicron saga, the whole sort of thing that ran from like 69 to 75. Yeah. Uh, for Dreamwave, it's probably The War Within. For IDW, it's probably Infiltration because that was the first time I'd actually got to start a story rather than come yeah. in partway through. Amazing. And how do you find it different, you know, writing for a game versus writing for, for comics? Well, I mean, a game is, is much more collaborative. It's much more of a team effort, which is great. You know, you do feel you're part of a bigger process here. You're than part of our team, Simon. Exactly. But there's also some constraints, right? Yeah. Like we don't always have the visual backing. No. Or we don't know if players have the, have the bot or not. You know, it's interesting because I, I write on a spreadsheet. You know, this is, I don't think, a big reveal, but <laughs> I write all my dialogue on a spreadsheet. Yeah. And it has to function something like... A, a radio drama you can't there's no visuals necessarily or not enough visuals so you have to write it like a little you know play, audio play I guess so yeah it's different but it's really good I like the the balance of different things I'm doing right now and the yeah. game is very rewarding excellent cool I, I have some questions here that I'd like to uh, address mm. uh, people <laughs> people like this Q&A uh, after some breaks from q and I suppose. Um, oh my god, now I forgot. Uh, oh! Uh, no, I completely lost the question. <laughs> That's, That's not great. A video because oh yes, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the question was, uh, is this a free and uh, four-star combiner or is it like a four-star only? It's mm. absolutely working the same way as other combiners. So you need three-star or above characters. Any character three-star or above will count towards the combiner. And yes, Volcanicus does include some bots that are harder to get, but combiners are... It's very hard to make them absolutely equal, right? Uh, Predacons were out for a bit longer. However, some of them are harder to get because I think two versions, like two bots, are only free star and above, which means Volcanicus will have it easier to get the spark for Volcanicus, but it might be slightly harder to get Volcanicus himself. So, um, yeah, it, it's, it's, it's impossible to make everything exactly the same for both factions. Uh, but we try, and gameplay-wise and stats-wise, they are exactly the same. Uh, um, Nathan Webb says, "My favorite Simon Furman story is where Lord Straxus takes over Megatron." Mm. Yeah, that or was Me a, sorry, Megatron. Uh, Megatron. Yeah, it was a little UK story issue, hundred and three, hundred and four, something like that. Ah. But yeah, you know that that was fun, and we got to reprise that in a later story called Two Megatrons. Okay, very cool. Yeah. And by the way. Um, the toy itself of Volcanicus is coming out in 2018, so if you'd like to kind of play with Volcanicus, well, it's either in our game <laughs> <laughs> or it's next year, <laughs> which yeah. is a very, uh, it's a huge privilege. Um, Definitely. Yeah. And I'm really happy we managed to pull it off with, with Hasbro. Um, Speaking of... Um and new combiners, by the way, uh, are releasing <laughs> soon, so let's, let's start, let's wait for the begin beginning of the combiner saga and then you'll you'll get your release date uh, but they're coming at the beginning kind of of the combiner saga so stay tuned and uh, Nathan Webb who is a, an awesome artist if you haven't seen some of his work go check it out it's under a Wii 66 illustration you can find him and he made this uh, very cool rendering of uh, Volcanicus and make it bigger I'll cover my own face because <laughs> <laughs> don't want to cover Simon so yeah, very cool. And uh, Simon, you know Nathan a little bit as well, hey? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, you know we've had uh, we've 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 sort of spoken and we we spoke about the little Beast Wars comic we did. Yeah, and, definitely. Uh, yeah, Nathan's a lovely guy. So yeah, definitely go check out some of his uh, some of his work. It yeah. is it is aces. And do you want to do a little recap of uh, yeah your stuff at Hascon? 
I'll do after this question. Magna Gamer <laughs> suggests that maybe we could make the event avatars have battle boosts during battles. Uh, the reason I wouldn't want to do that is because uh, an avatar is is kind of a way for you to personalize your 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 presence online and and express yourself. The moment we put any bonus on that, uh, we we gamify that choice. Uh, and it's the moment when you know certain you know if you have a role playing game, you you put stupid looking stuff on your character that you don't like just because it has plus one to agility, uh, which is not really fun because you kind of lose something while you try to game the system. Um, that's why we wouldn't want to do that, even though it's technically possible, but it just wouldn't end up being fun. So Sunstrigo was asking, Simon, which Transformer would you like to see come to the game next? Oh, do I get a vote? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, why not? Hey, the community voted, so okay. you get to vote as well. That's a good one. I'm going to say <laughs> Wheelie. Just to be contentious, oh. we put him on the <laughs> Pablo is chuckling. Uh, we put him on the list, and it didn't get much uh, love oh. from the Autobot players. And and Chris was really happy because like I'm happy I put Willie on the list. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that just... he did it just. I, I, I didn't, it wasn't out of spite. It was just out of just sheer fun of, right. and and actual curiosity of seeing how many people actually vote for Willie. Mm. And it was like. 500 or something like that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it, it wasn't much. Um, my, I mean, it my, seems quite a lot. But, but your vote would have... My real, my real choice is Nightbeat. Nightbeat? Nightbeat. Yeah. So you I remember that one. look that one up. Yeah. yeah no, no, Nightbeat. I remember, but I still need to Google. He's a great character. He's kind of like... Oh, yeah. He's like the detective ah. in, the, in the Autobot ranks. Okay. Oh, that's cool. so cool. So that's my... Self-declared my detective. <laughs> Self-declared. So you're yeah. like... <laughs> Yeah, Can I self declare myself a detective? Absolutely. Well? He'll be he'll be you know, good for your challenge le- your ones. Yeah. It's true. I love it. Yeah. So if you guys are just tuning in, uh, we have the ever awesome Simon Furman here with us today. If you have any questions for him, uh, feel free to throw them out in the chat. We're also taking our very first look at Volcanicus and Predaking, which we unveiled for the first time at Hascon over the weekend. Where uh, Simon and Pablo were, you can see uh, some. Sorry, not Simon. Adam, <laughs> Adam and Pablo. <laughs> Adam and Pablo were, uh, and here, here's some images from that event. We had a little booth, and Adam did a panel as well. Do you want to do a quick? Tell them a. Give them a quick recap of your Hascon experience, Adam. Um, he came back really sick, by the way, because he didn't sleep for like three <laughs> days. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, I got sick after like I landed. I, uh, we landed at nine a.m. Yeah. At Heathrow. And we got straight to the office. Oops. Yeah, wow. which was probably a mistake. Uh, <laughs> still, we brought we brought some toys that we got uh, from Hasbro, and we brought some toys to the team. We actually raffled them yeah. across the team members, which was great. I um, wanted no so bad. Uh, Andrew has no, ah, <laughs> and he's probably he's probably so happy that you don't have him. <laughs> Can you show him? Do you have no? No. <laughs> 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 We're trying to signal to him, but he's like, oh, he's not understanding. <laughs> ah, he he, he got, got it. He got it. He got it. Yeah. <laughs> Blah is so cute. It's my oh, favorite thing ever. Here we go. Now there you can't is. see. You got to come around. <laughs> yeah. uh, are you a fan of Nas as well, Simon? Oh yes. Oh yes. No, it's just the cute. I just oh, and that and little actually, thing. actually, it's very fair that that Swandra ruffled a no. Reason being, yeah. he's he's one of the people who are really pushing towards getting <laughs> known to the game. So I had no I, idea I, what you got. I, I would definitely yeah, credit. You got it eventually. No, I did. I'm giving you. I'm stream. giving you. Oh. Uh, <laughs> I'm giving you credit for um, for bringing no into the game. So oh, yeah, he's so badly. cute. There he is. Oh God! Wait, where's his little top hat and his little suitcase? What? <laughs> That's Did, not real. Oh, they put the office. Why would you have a top hat and a suitcase? Yeah. I know, I've seen the image, but that's Where that? Where did I see that image then? It's a Google image search thing. If you search for him. Um, oh, you know, it's the cutest thing ever. He's got a little top hat and a suitcase. Are you uh, saying Nas not always cute? Yeah, no, he is. Look at this. Matt Chemist is asking for a squat clearing button. What if I told you <laughs> that this button is in the game right now? What? It is, right? Yes. Well, it's, it's in the if game. If you've updated your client, yes. If you have updated your, your clients or your version of the game, it should yeah. be available on your uh, App Store or Google Play Store. It's available there. The clear squad button. Yay! I love it. I love it when the <laughs> suggestions are so good that they're immediately. I thought they're already there. 
Uh, so we are running out of time, so we're going to take a really quick look at uh, the event on this weekend. We're going to have Simon do some dialogue for it oh. that we usually do. And then we're going to take another look, of course, at Volcanicus and Predaking. So that being said, let me uh, switch over. In a second. Oh, no. Go away. Go away. That's fine. Uh, what's the problem with having like two builds on? Oh, come on. All right. It's fine. In the meantime, Adam, you can ask, answer another question. Uh, why I can't you use no for both armies? Because making that would break uh, the way the troops work. That's the honest answer. Uh, it's just, it would break every single system we have in the game. So who's got him? Uh, you can only uh, have him for an Autobot if you're an Autobot. Yeah. But, but you, we have ability to play both factions, you, so you can get bots from the other faction, but you can't get no mm. for the other faction. Right. And you, like, you can't use him even though he's like, available for both factions. Uh, yeah, because it would basically break the whole game. Uh, and yeah. <laughs> here we have this week's event, and this is the final one in uh, the Beast Wars saga called String Theory. String theory. Yeah, Not no strings attached. <laughs> uh, uh -huh. That's the yeah, which one was that? That's what you said at the beginning of the stream. I, I remember, I remember, yeah. Uh, string theory. Let's play the transmission. Yeah. By the way, I love the art. Um, yeah, it's best so one yet. Good. Our, Actually, our Alex events. Alex does that, and you'll see Alex in the art video. Yeah, and the Alex is like every single week, he's getting better and better at making these yeah. uh, amazing illustrations. Uh, you know, really quickly, mm -hmm. um, and it's, yeah, it's, I mean, it's quite a lot of work doing an event, and we have to do it every single week, um, <laughs> and that includes artwork like that, it's mm. great. So let's play the transmission, Ooh. get your best acting voice out, Simon. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Right, Chrome. shall I do the narration? And yeah, then you, you do, do the, the narration, yeah. Go for it. Coronal portal location inside the neutral zone. We made it. Back to the future. That not dynamo! But which future? It looks very much like the past we just left. Or oh, that, me give up! <laughs> Cheetor? Well, not quite what I intended, but it's great to see you, lad. And Black Arachnia? <laughs> Try and contain your excitement, Big Bot. But well, it's not you I came to see, it's him. Welcome, Black Arachnia, to the Earth Wars. Well, that's just prime. <laughs> <laughs> How does it feel acting out your own uh, dialogue? Oh, there? yeah, you know, it's, it's, it's some kind of weird ego trip, isn't it? <laughs> or, or, or is it like, oh, now that I read it, <laughs> I yeah, like to change it. Oh, actually, yeah. that's not very nice. Oh, dear. <laughs> Amazing. Awesome. Love it. Well, uh, we did like an insane Q&A today. I'm really happy. Like we, I, I feel like we've exhausted quite a lot of questions. Um, Uncle Scrooge is asking about some of the uh, behavioral, like classic behaviors, like the fact that warriors deal double damage to walls and half a damage to HQ. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. I don't know what, what much else is there to, to say um, apart from that. We also have certain scout classes that can resist 90% of mortar and cannon fire, uh, like Bumblebee uh, and Rust Dust. They can dodge that. And actually, Cheetor and Black Arachnia have the ability of backflipping from mortar and cannon projectiles as well. Um, and one thing to pay um, attention to is like you'll see uh, Cheetor and Black Arachnia's uh, you know, power, you may compare it to Snarl. And the power calculations are, are made based on mostly just um, health, damage, and some kind of multipliers for a particular class. Uh, so they kind of tend to. Um, they tend to favor warriors or, or people with, with large health. These two bots, however, Chito and Black Arachnia, have relatively large health for the scout class. They can also dodge the projectiles. And the important fact is, when they start buffing their speed, they can get up to 125% of their DPS for 90 seconds, which is you know, half of the battle. So um, they can get quite crazy damage output if you buff them early and then leave them going. And they can also get buffed from uh, destroying enemy bots and from destroying enemy build bots. And another question, why build bots can't be upgraded? To do that would completely break our economy and any calculations we try to make, uh, you know, to, to bring the game kind of in a balanced and nice way and progressing slowly and but surely. 
I forgot. Uh, this weekend's event, by the way, is an alliance event. So make sure that yes. you get to it. It's an alliance event uh, with. Uh, it's not in. It's not showing. Oh, okay. It's also the wrong field. Yeah, sure. Uh, <laughs> it's an alliance event. Uh, let me take a look at the details. And of course, it's your chance to uh, potentially win a three or four star Black Arachnia or Cheetor. Yeah. So this let's take, take a look at the uh, yeah the awards. So we have uh, at sixty thousand. Uh, points for your alliance, you'll get a two-star uh, Cheetor Black Arachnia. There's some four-star and three-star shards in Spark and spread across the, um, the totalizer. Uh, the event structure is not flat. It goes from 14 points to 186 points uh, for the top uh, battle zone. Uh, so kind of standard for that event. And of course we've got leaderboard prizes and the top five alliances get a four-star guaranteed with varying amount of Spark. And then we have from uh, rank 6 to rank 100, a guaranteed 3 star with varying amount of spark. And then we've got uh, from 7 to 5 premium character crystals uh, from positions 101 to 400. Uh, so yeah, I think these characters are really fun to play with. Uh, I suggest you try the battle 2-3 times, um, try to see how they uh, synchronize with different characters. Especially try them with Snarl and Hunger, as they both enter that mode and they both kind of cut through multiple buildings together and get faster and faster, um, you know, bigger and bigger buff for Cheetor and Black Arachnia. And here's your uh, last look at uh, Volcanicus, who is super awesome. Yes, love and, him. Uh, yeah, you will be able to see him in action next week, so make sure you tune in to next week's stream. And Earth Wars exclusive. Yes, yeah. and Earth Wars And you'll be able to unlock him uh, shortly after. That's correct. And of course, uh, Predaking as well. As some of you have been asking about giveaways, we will do more giveaways next week. Uh, whenever we have a guest on, I like to maximize our time with said guest. So yeah, don't worry, we'll have giveaways next week, which will be good fun. And this weekend, of course, uh, now now you want me to now I, you have me wanting to say no strings attached rather than string. <laughs> <laughs> string theory is this weekend's event where you can uh, win a three or four star black arachnia or cheetor, which will be cool. And Simon, give us uh, another little um, recap of what you're working on now. Okay, yeah. Well, there's of course the definitive G1 collection, which is. Mm -hmm every Transformers comic story in one series, so that's a big job that's only maybe a quarter of the way through. Um, I'm working on Robotech comics for Titan, um, some development on an animated series, and probably something else I've forgotten about at You're the moment. You're busy. Yes, at the moment. And of course Earth Wars. Yeah, I keep dropping you lots of stuff, <laughs> yeah. like random stuff for different characters. But yeah. Yes, definitely. So yeah, make sure that you uh, check out all of Simon's stuff. It's all over the internet anyway. You'll be, you know, you know easy. It'll be easy to find. Yep. And for more on Volcanicus and Predaking, tune in next week. But also check out uh, some of our content, which we've got rolling right now on social media. You can check out Adam and Chris chatting about, you know, um, the gameplay design. Etc. We might actually leave you with said video. We could do. We mm. could do. Mm. Ah, yeah. Um, there you get a little, little preview of it. I'll move it over to me so you can. Nice. See Simon's pretty awesome shirt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, so we'll have uh, more on volcanics and Predaking coming out this weekend. The art team is going to chat about how they rigged and made all the different parts work together. And uh, next week you'll also get another look at the toy design behind Volcanicus and Predaking, and we're going to have two of the toy designers from Hasbro chat about that. Yeah, how exciting is that? Yeah, mm. pretty cool. Actually, one hilarious blooper that I enjoyed... Oh my god. <laughs> ...was when they were interviewing um, uh, John Warden and Rich Zamperano for, for toy design. They said, I'm a, I'm a designer for Hasbro, and then they came to Adam and they were like, hi, I'm a designer for Hasbro, and I was like, no, I'm not. I don't work there. <laughs> I said, I'm a designer for Hasbro, and I completely, yeah, that's what happens when you're jet-lagged. Oh, do you mind if I play that for people? Sure. <laughs> One second. I have to... I have I've, to I've been that. embarrassed so many times on stream already, <laughs> it doesn't really matter. <laughs> 
I thought it was hilarious. So, okay, let me see if I have it somewhere, somewhere easily accessible. Oh, I hope so. <laughs> yeah, I do. <laughs> okay, I'm evil. But Pablo, do we have the address for the support? You can drop to... Uh, oh, no, wait, maybe I can't actually... I thought that was that. What's that? Oh, I don't think I can have it there, actually. It's not, oh. it's not there. Oh, it's so sad. It's so sad. <laughs> Your plush is so I'm Dan Ward, design manager oh, yeah, at Hasbro. Oh, here it is. No, 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 I'm Adam. I'm a designer at Hasbro. <laughs> Let's play that one more time because... Just put it on loop. What's that? <laughs> yes. Yeah. yeah, hold on. I gotta, I gotta switch out and in. Here we go. Will it play? Will it play? What's it doing? Did a minute ago. It did, it did. Oh, weird. Okay, I don't know what's going on with it. That's fine. Well, you got like a little glimpse of it. I don't yeah. know if you actually got to hear it say it. <laughs> but it was pretty funny. Maybe we'll put it on social media. Ha. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> no, no good. Okay. Anyways. Awesome. Yeah. This yeah. was a really packed stream. I know, it was very busy. Yeah. Uh, Simon, thank you so much. Thank Pleasure you. as always. For joining. And, and you know, it's been so exciting getting involved in this one particular. Yeah. And after that, there's way more to go. Oh, yes. Yeah, always more, always more. Yeah. Um, thanks to you guys, of course, for tuning in and sending in your questions for Simon. He'll be back. Yeah. You'll be back. Right? <laughs> I'll be back. I'll, I'll be back, yes. Yeah, I'm always like, Simon, come back. <laughs> yeah, uh, no, he'll definitely be back. So make sure that you tune in next week for more Volcanicus and Predaking. And mm. you can check out this video that's, uh, wait, there, there yeah. it is. That's playing in the corner right now <laughs> to see. <laughs> you can check that video and you, you can catch us next week. Uh, yeah, and stay tuned. Like, look at our social media channels, yeah. especially at our YouTube and, and Facebook page as we post more and more stuff from Hascon. Exactly. Cool. Well, thanks, guys. We shall see you next week. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thanks. I'll leave you with the trailer. <laughs> see ya.